I'm Nidhi Merkelker. And I'm Nishka Merkelker, and today we're going to be talking about Parthenopsia. So before we get started, I wanted to introduce myself. So I'm currently a junior in a magnet school located in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm 16 years old. I've been doing Parthenopsia for nearly eight years at the K Academy School of Indian Music and Dance. A uh, fun fact about me is I actually completed my Iron Gage from last year in India, and it was an incredible way for me to share my journey with my grandparents, and it was a really sweet moment for me. And I have a strong passion for dance, and I love doing duets with my sister. I'm Nidhi, Nishka's twin, and I'm also a junior in a magnet school. I started dance eight years ago when I was in third grade, and since then I've completed my Iron Gage from in 2019 in Hyderabad, India. Um, I also dance for K Academy of Indian Music and Dance, and I enjoy dancing and performing for others, and I've danced in um, multiple annual performances and also at fundraisers and cultural events at temples. So let's get started. In this video, we're going to cover what exactly Parthenatyam is, as well as the origin and history of Parthenatyam. We're going to talk about why exactly we're doing these videos, like what's the purpose, and then we're also going to briefly touch on topics that we may be covering in the next couple of videos. So the purpose and the intent for me and my sister to be making these videos are we want to put more information out there about what exactly Birthenachium is and also what the history of Birthenachium is. And another reason um, for putting these series out there is me and my sister want to help you on your journey for your Earn Gatrum. And I just wanted to point out that an Earn Gatrum is not the end of a dancing career. It's the beginning of a more professionalized dancing career. Guru Bhyo Namaha. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshvara, Guru Saksha Para Brahma, Dasme Sri Guru Ve Namaha. This is a respectful way to talk about someone's guru. And my guru, um, Srimati Gayatri Subramaniam, is the founder of K Academy of Indian Music and Dance. Um, my guru's guru, Srimati Padmani Radha Krishnan, um, was actually in attendance at me and my sister's Arangetram. My guru's guru and her whole orchestra team flew in from Mumbai to come perform for us. And a cool fun fact is my guru had the same orchestra team as me and my sister, so it was kind of like a generational thing. So let's get started on the history. Parthenatyam is the oldest form of Indian classical dance and it was created nearly 2,000 years ago. It's the mother to other dance forms such as Kathak and Odessi, who took parts of Birthanakim, such as their expressions, and added their own twist to it by changing the head movements or the feet. It originated in the Tanjore district in Tamil Nadu, and many people believe that Lord Brahma shared this art to Sage Bharata, who wrote this art in a sacred text called the Nati Shastra. This Nati Shastra is taught that there were three main forms, which were listed below. So a little bit about the three main forms of Natya Shastra is Nritta, Nritya, and Natya. Those are the three main form forms. And a little bit about them, the Nritya is the fast um, and uh, fast, uh, uh, sorry, the fast beats in a dance. So you'll see the Nritya in dances, and when we're talking about the Arangetram, in dances such as the Varnam or Tilana. The Nritya is a more expressive um, and slow movement of dance. And the Natya is a more um, storytelling and a more drama-focused um, style of dance. So in the Natya, you'll see a lot more um, uh, depictions of historic stories and a lot more characters. And a little bit about the ornaments that go into a costume of Bharatanatyam, the flowers, um, as you can see on the picture with Nishka, the flowers help outline the hair and it's very important for the hairstyle. And when we look at the jewelry, we can see it outlines a lot more of the costume and the jewelry is very important um, on stage when we're dancing for the Arangetram. And also another thing is the anklets, also known as the chalange, which is the more um, uh, technical term for them. And these chalange are um, very symbolic in a dancing career because it's something that a guru blesses before a student completes an Arangetram. So Bharatanatyam can be divided into multiple syllables and all the syllables help make up what the entire dance form is. Bha meaning bhava means expression and if you look at the image on like the top right left you can see that I'm making a shocked face and I seem surprised so this is expression. Ra means ragam and there are multiple music um, instruments that are shown below. Thal means thalam, and the thalam is given by the guru when 
um, she uses the Natyavanga. And then Natya means dance. And you can see in the picture, it's using a combination of Bhavam, Ragam, and Thalam to sh make the dance come together, just like how the name justifies that. So a little bit more about the history. Um, Bertha Natyam was very important in many temples in southern India. Um, these dancers in the temples were called Devadasis, and they uh, dedicated these dances to their lords. And another fun fact is Dasis are also known as servants. And the teachers of these dance were Nata Vanars. And in, during um, the British colonization of India, when British had control of India, all these cultural dances were banned, including Bharatanatyam. When, and when it was later revived by Rukmini Devi Arundal and E. Krishna Ayer, it became more popular and a lot more people started learning this dance form. Let's recap. So in this video, we introduced ourselves. We also briefly spoke about topics that we may be discussing in the next couple of videos. We talked about what each syllable in Bharatanatyam means. We gave some history about Bharatanatyam, as well as talked a little bit about the three forms. We also briefly talked about hair, hair ornaments, flowers, and jewelry. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And if there are any more questions or comments that you have, please let us know below. And if there are any topics you want us to cover in any videos, just let us know. Thank you so much.